Hey guys, it's Stormwrecker, and I'm checking out Sound Dodger Plus today. It's a game by Studio Bean, and it's published by Adult Swim Games. It's out now on Steam, and uh, I've played around with it quite a bit. It, it, it is a... I can explain this. Um, well, it, it's a music game, but it's not like a music uh, rhythm game where you have to match things. This is actually like a, a music game where you have to avoid... Uh, obstacles and whatnot while your song plays. It's got a bunch of tracks um, built into it And it will actually give you a preview here. I got to turn on the volume a little bit though But um, you can see here this list is pretty damn big uh, if I scroll down here I'm trying to slow it down a little bit uh, But yeah, there's a lot of tracks in here that um, personally I've never heard even one by Let's see. Where is he? Uh, Danny Baranowski um, from Isaac and whatnot, if I recall correctly. Uh, but he's got his own new track in here. And uh, I'm going to try to stick to s some of these later levels, though. Uh, let's see, I wrote down a couple I wanted to feature here. Um, we'll do this one first, Frog of Lore. Now, there is a Zen mode for every song. Zen is just where you really can't fail, and you get to just listen to the song and enjoy it. Uh, but here's the difficulty level. It says it keeps track of your best score. If you get 100%, it's going to keep it on there for you. But uh, best I did on this one was 94. Now, um, for the most part, the the game is about actually just enjoying the music. Um, if you screw up, it messes with the song, and you screw up by hitting one of these objects. Anything that comes flying at you, essentially, if it runs into your little circle here that I'm moving around. Uh, then the song pauses for a second, it gets messed up, and then the, the whole song catches back up. Or it speeds up, uh, and, oh god, I, see? It's so hard to do commentary with games like this. I already got hit, which is really bad. But, um, as far as I know, this actual part is not procedurally generated. It's, like, pre-determined, uh, what sort of, uh, hazards are gonna come at you. And you can slow down time if you're like, oh, I'm in a jam here. You get to hold down your left click, slow down time, reposition yourself. But while that's happening, um, you are not... Oh, God. You are you are not gaining any sort of uh, score points. So... And uh, there are not just uh, these little triangle thingies that are flying at you. There's also orbs. There's heat-seeking things that will come at you. Um, there's different patterns that will erupt. I'm sure you guys will see some of that uh, as, as we get going here. Um, but yeah, I mean, for the most part, it is kind of a, a simplistic... Uh, oh god, there we go again. Uh, it is kind of a simplistic game, um, but I do enjoy it. I am liking it so far. It's not like this is a $60 title. And I got to pay attention here, because I swear to god, man, uh, it, people really underestimate how uh, commentary affects gameplay. And this is definitely one of those games where you're gonna fail more trying to talk. I just need to keep myself in a safe place here. The walls are narrowing in! Oh god. Oh, we're safe. Alright. Well, ooh, nope. Okay, slow down time. And screw you, little backwards effect. You are trying to hurt my little circle here, and I don't appreciate that. Oh, bother. Ah, well, you guys will have to buy this game to enjoy this song <laughs> because I keep failing and it keeps messing up the track and I almost got hit again. Um, but yeah, uh, it, it's it's uh, simple looking. But I'll tell you what, when you're just chilling and you're sitting back in your chair, all of the visual effects and whatnot, like the spinning and uh, the spinning and all that, it kind of like puts you in like a trance. So here's a little heat seeker things. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Yeah, it, it kind of puts you in a trance. It's really weird. Um, your brain just starts to kind of take over and and knows what to do, and you just kind of chill and you get to start thinking about things. It's one of those games, you know, because it it's such minimal user interaction, just moving around this little circle and keeping it safe. Oh, there's the giant blobs. I think we just finished. Yep, this should be the end of the song. So that was one track. Uh, we're gonna do one more. Uh, let's see, see, that was my worst score yet. 83%. Normally I got 94. There's there's some evidence of uh, 
of some issues with, you know, how commentary messes with you. We'll do one more here. We'll do, uh, Blowing Cubes. And, yeah, this one starts off kind of interesting. There's no dodging at first, then all of a sudden it's like, whoop. Oh. Sorry, I had to slow down for a second there. And then they come back around, and then they come back up. Oh, okay, so, see? Commentary, man. Why, you know, you always hear YouTubers say, if you think it's easy, try it yourself. Try doing all these puzzle games and stuff when you're trying to commentate a game. Or even stuff like this. Holy shit. Oh no! Ah, oh, there's no way out of that. Alright, so we're just gonna ride this little circle here. Oh god. Okay, it's tightening in. Stop! Let me out of here! Okay. And, uh, yeah, the, you know, I actually really enjoy uh, some of the songs that came with this, too. I would have never heard the songs had it not been for this game. And now I find myself wanting to check out who these artists are. And uh, maybe even, you know, buy some of their albums and whatnot. Because uh, there really is some good stuff there. I mean, I've even heard other YouTubers I'm friends with uh, talk about how much they enjoy the music in this game. I'm not sure where uh, the developers uh, found these artists. Aside from Danny, again, I've never really heard of him. And, oh, I did forget to mention, I think, the Super Circles here. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay, we're still safe. We're still good. Still good. Oh, no, we're not. We're not good. And there you can see. Music has to catch up, and it kind of screws up the flow. You go from chilling to freaking out for a second. You're like, damn it, I wish I... I could just hear the song as it is, so I can enjoy this thing. And then after this, I'm going to show you guys uh, the ability to import your own music tracks, which is pretty cool. I apologize if this is currently hypnotizing anybody, or... or well, not anymore. Here I was about to tell you guys to make sure you subscribe and tell all your friends about the game, and then I had to go and ruin the hypnosis process. Got to stay alive, stay alive, stay alive, stay alive. My commentary is probably ruining the song for you guys too. I didn't even think about that till now, and I just hit a spike. It was not the commentary that's ruining it. Holy crap! Look at this wave. Giganto blob of green. Nice. Um, and there's also an editor. Now I haven't messed around with the editor too much, um, but it's another option. We're gonna back out of here. Um, but yeah, oh, and I, I did forget to show you guys, uh, when we're in play mode here, these other tracks, they unlock based off the percentage. Uh, so if I say, play this new song, Daisy Wheel, and I got 40%, this track would unlock. If I got 100%, then this track here would only need 14% more to unlock. So that's how songs unlock. It un they unlock pretty quick. Um, but we're gonna do, uh... We're gonna do... okay, user levels I think is the same thing for the most part, I... Okay, refresh. I swear I added mp3s. Okay, well, uh, I'll have to look into that, I might have put the stuff in the wrong folder, but... Um, or maybe they're FLAC files instead of mp3s, I'm gonna go and find us a song really quick. Um... I don't think you guys can see what I'm doing, because I'm in documents. Now give me one sec, guys. Alright. Sound Dodger, where are you? There it is. Okay, and we're gonna do... A Song by Ensnare. So, right now, this is encoded a Song by Ensnare. Ensnare is the artist that, um... Makes my outro track. And if you guys have not bought that album yet, I highly recommend doing so. It's fantastic. And, uh, believe it or not, uh, the guy behind it, Snare, Nervous Test Pilot, he's actually the one of the uh, guys who made uh, Frozen Synapse. Ooh. ooh. And uh, now they're working on another game. Um, was it Frozen End Zone? And, uh, yeah, it's really good stuff. It's chip tunes, and it's, it's just really, it's really high quality music. By far, these guys are one of my favorite chiptune artists, and uh, they were kind enough to allow me to uh, use their tracks in my videos. 
Alright. So far, not too bad. Um, this... Oop. Okay, just so I say that, I get hit. Uh, but this, um, was all generated on the fly by the game. All these hazards and stuff. Okay. And it's doing a good job of sc screwing me over. Oh god, I don't like this. Alright. Just gotta keep staying alive. Whoa! Oh! Oh! So many hazards. I don't know what difficulty this is on, but it's really tough. This is definitely a song I'd want to play on Zen mode. Oh god. I'll try to say a lot for you guys so you can enjoy the track. You and Snare Proud! I should definitely not be a DJ, I don't got the voice for it. Alright. Well, we made it through the hard part, I think. Alright. Whoa! Oh god. And, uh, fun fact, to trivia time, I almost use this song for my outro. Instead of expectations from this album. Because I liked this one that much. But I went with expectations instead, and the rest is history, and I just got hit again. Alright. Alright, I think that's it. I think we made it. Just a little bit more to dodge, and we're done. Alright guys, uh, so again, this was Sound Dodger. And as mentioned, it is out now. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, uh, like I said, it's really nice if you, especially if you just want to, like, kick back and relax. Or if you want to check out new artists and whatnot that, uh, you may not have heard before. It's a wide variety of, uh, music for the most part. Except, well, I don't want to say wide variety, but most of it is electronic or even chip tunes. like uh, I think I heard one that kind of sounded like classical or something. I don't know. I, I didn't get to really play it, uh, but it, it definitely sounded different than the rest of the tracks. Uh, but yeah, there's a good variety there, and um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the show. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and I will see all of you guys next time.